Find the limit as u approaches 2. Solution. So when you're computing limits, it's usually a good idea to take this number and plug it in for all the u's. When you do that, though, on the bottom, you end up with 2 minus 2, so you get 0. So you can't have 0 on the bottom of a fraction. So we somehow have to manipulate this. So the trick is we're going to multiply by the conjugate. So we're going to multiply the numerator by the square root of 4u plus 1 plus 3. Then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. So square root 4u plus 1 plus 3. And what we're basically doing is multiplying by 1. So now this becomes the limit. So we have to keep writing the limit sign until we actually plug in the number. u approaches 2. And the formula here is the difference of squares formula. This is a minus b, and this is a plus b. And so when you multiply this out, you get a squared minus b squared. So when you square your square root, it goes away. So you get 4u plus 1 minus, and then you square your 3, so you get 9. On the bottom, we still have u minus 2. And then we also have this piece. It's very easy to forget. So parentheses, square u, root 4u plus 1 plus 3. I said square u, square root of 4u plus 1, and then a plus 3 on the outside. Let's keep going. So we have to write the limit sign again. So limit, u approaches 2. Let's see what's going on here. So 4u minus 9, it's going to be 4u minus 8. Then we still have all of the stuff on the bottom. So u minus 2, parentheses, square root, 4u plus 1, plus 3. And again, we still have a problem because if we plug in 2, uh, we get 0 on the bottom. However, you'll notice that we can factor out a 4 from the numerator. So this is equal to the limit as u approaches 2. Now we can pull out the 4, so we get u minus 2, all being divided by parentheses u minus 2, parentheses square root, 4u plus 1, and we have the plus 3 on the outside. And this is where the magic happens, because the u minus 2 cancels, so now we have the limit, we still have to write it, as u approaches 2, of 4 over all this stuff, so square root, 4u, plus 1, and then plus 3. And now we can finally take the 2 and plug it in. So now we're going to evaluate the limit. So this is where you uh, drop the limit sign. So this is equal to 4 over square root. And so u is 2, so it's 4 times 2 plus 1. Then we have the plus and the 3. This is 4 over, whoop, the 3 is the three's down here, sorry, plus 3 messed up, right, because it's all on the bottom. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So you get the square root of 9 plus 3. Come running out of room. This is 4 over square root of 9 is 3, so 3 plus 3. So we get 4 over 6, so we end up with 2 over 3. And that's the final answer. Uh, kind of a harder problem. Um, I hope that made sense.